What's up guys, so the iPad Pro is essential to my college life. The iPad has everything that I need for my college life. That means books, that means it's got my laptop, that means it's got my scanner, it's got an agenda, and so much more. And all of that is thanks to apps that you can download right now in the App Store. So today I wanted to show you the essential apps that I've used over the years in high school and now that I'm currently using in college. And before you guys ask in the comment section, Nikki is, what are you studying? You guys always ask me this question. I always answer this question, but of course there's always new people coming in. I study graphic design. Get that in your head, okay? Don't ask me in the comment section. I study graphic design. Get it? Okay, now we can start the video. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so let's get things started with my personal favorite app out there, and that's Things 3. And Things 3, I mean, if you're not a student, you can use it as well. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to be using this app forever for the rest of my life. I love this app. It's not only for students, but I use it for my personal life, my business, and of course for school as well. I mean, I use this app a lot. Things 3 is a beautifully designed task manager. It's pretty pricey but pretty worth it. The beauty of the app is that it's available on the Apple Watch and on the iPhone and on the iPad. It's also available on the Mac, but on the Mac it's 50 bucks for the app, which is totally worth it, but I'm not gonna purchase it just yet. It's just a lot of money. I mean, I, as of now, I have it on my iPad and on my iPhone and it's more than enough. I'll get it on the Mac eventually, probably soon, but it's just 50 bucks. It's expensive, but worth it. The design of the app looks very minimal and straight to the point. There's a bunch of shortcuts too, and I love using it with my keyboard. I personally use it for everything. Like if I have homework for the next day, I write it down. And like this, I have everything that I have to do throughout my day in a really beautifully designed app. So I write it down when I'm in school, for example, and then I look at my Apple Watch and I'm like, okay, I have all of this stuff to do. I have a lot of things to do, right? So I don't only go to uni, I have always a lot of stuff to do with my channel, with my app, with my businesses, with school, right? So having an app that has everything that I have to do in one place with a beautifully designed app, with a beautiful ecosystem as well, it's definitely worth it. So definitely check out Things 3, you will love it. All right, next up is Selvi Pen Script, and it's not an app, I mean, it is an app, but it, it's not, let me explain. So it's an app that lets you install a keyboard, which is awesome. Let me show you. So the keyboard lets you type with the Apple Pencil and will transform your handwriting to actual text. Sometimes, let's say you're in class and you've got the Apple Pencil going on, right? You're you're taking notes and then you want to search something up on the on the internet. You have to personally like type in and like tap with like the Apple Pencil on the actual keyboard. It's not really intuitive. With this keyboard, you will simply like hand write and you will be able to search online. Use it, it's free, check it out, it's definitely worth it. Actually, I, I forget if it's free. Let me check it out if it's free, I totally forget. Yes, it's free, so definitely check it out and let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think of it. It's, it's kind of weird, but it works, it works really well. So it's definitely a really interesting app that you should definitely check out. Once again, it's not an app, it's just an app that will let you install. You get it. iStudyS Pro is my next app, and it's an app that I used a lot back in high school. It's basically like Things 3. It's a task manager, but more specifically for students. It's built for students. So it's way much more than a task manager. So you can put all your homework, your calendar as well, your teacher information, your classes, everything in one app. So it's basically like an actual agenda, like whenever you purchase a physical bookie agenda. Bookie? What, what does that even mean? As I said, I used this app a lot back in high school and it honestly saved my life. I put all of my homework, all of my classes, and I, I was pretty organized. Like if you're organized within this app, it can be very useful and it can save your life, your college life, your high school life. Check it out. It's good stuff. All right, so I don't know why, but Apple has decided to not include a native calculator app on the iPad, which is so dumb. I don't know why we have a calculator app on our Apple Watch, but not on the iPad, which is super dumb. So if you're a student and if I were you, I would download a calculator app. I don't want to go in depth with a specific calculator app. There's a bunch of them in the App Store. Don't be lazy. Go to the App Store and type in calculator and download one or two, or however you want. They all work. They're all great. You just need to add and subtract stuff. So yeah. Just go! A couple other apps that are essential to your student life are Microsoft Word or Pages to write your essays. Both programs are pretty similar to the actual desktop version, so anything that you can do on your computer, you're going to be able to do it on Pages or on Word. I love both programs, to be honest. I like Pages more since it's got the ecosystem and it works better within Mac and iPad, So I personally own a Mac and an iPad. So download both and choose which one you like better. Or I mean, you can keep both of them if you want. It's your life. And same with Microsoft PowerPoint and Keynote. They are both programs to create all of your presentations for school. This year, I probably done like 90% of all of my presentations for uni on my iPad, which is pretty cool. So you don't really need a Mac to do presentations. 
PowerPoint and Keynote are great, great desktop class apps on the iPad. Once again, I'd rather use Keynote because of that ecosystem. Timetable is what I use for my college classes. It's got all of my schedule in the most minimal interface that you could ever dream of. It's beautiful. The design is simple, yet very effective and uses color in the most beautiful way possible. This is not sponsored. It's just a really beautifully designed app. All right, so one of the questions that I get asked most frequently is, Nikki, should I buy a MacBook or should I buy an iPad for school? Well, I made a video on that last week, so make sure to check it out. And one of the main reasons why I said the iPad is better than the Mac is because the iPad has a camera. No, no, you should not be going out and taking photos with your iPad if you're traveling. That's just awkward. And no, please don't do that. Once again, it's your life. You can do whatever you want, but that's just cringy. Please don't do that. The iPad is great because it's got a camera for scanning documents, for scanning your homework. And Scanner Pro is a great app that lets you do that. You can scan your homework, your assignments, or whatever random stuff your teacher decides to give you. And after scanning the document, you can annotate it with your Apple Pencil. You can sign it, mark up stuff good stuff. So one of the main reasons that you're thinking on buying an iPad or one of the reasons that you purchased an iPad for school is for note taking, right? And there's basically two best, I mean, there's a bunch of other great apps, but the two best note taking apps out there are GoodNotes and Notability. I'm personally a bigger fan of Notability because I've used it all of my life. A couple months ago, I decided to purchase GoodNotes. It's also really good. So if you guys want me to do like an in-depth comparison, whether GoodNotes or Notability, which one is better, let me know in the comments down below and I will make sure to think about it. Um, but both apps are great and both apps will save your life with your note-taking game. Both apps are pretty pricey, but they are so worth it because you're going to be using these apps so much. So, so guys, that's pretty much it for the essential apps that you need if you're a student having an iPad Pro. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do uh, how to get ready for school with your iPad because right now I just showed you apps. But I feel I can tell you so many tips and tricks if you're a student and you have an iPad Pro. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see that video. Comment that. Like this video, please. It helps out this video. Reach out to more people. Subscribe if you're new. We do a bunch of I Apple content, iPad content, Apple Watch content, Apple content in general. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.